Hello, my name is Jerry Ballman, and I'm a member of Cessna Customer Service Engineering Team Structures. Today, I'd like to discuss the requirements for providing value-added intermediate photographs for structural issues and show you a few examples. Intermediate photos give you much needed information for all your structural issue and reduce the amount of time required to evaluate the problem. Outside of major structural damage involving a large portion of the aircraft, most structural issues are confined to one or just a few areas of concern. Three or four photos for a single damaged area are usually sufficient. Following the orientation photo, an intermediate photo is a much closer view of the area in order to show various items re required for evaluation and possible repair. Before taking any photos, I highly recommend reviewing other team structures videos on camera focusing, image size, JPEG quality, lighting, and today's use of smartphones. The purpose of an intermediate photograph is to give team structures a semi-close view of the issue area. The intermediate photo should show near distances to nearby structure, fasteners, part radius and edges, damage dimensions, edge and pitch measurements, hole sizes, and control line references. External and internal photographs are usually a good idea. Please note that some of this data won't be applicable to every structural issue. Team Structures recommends modifying the photo with computer software. Team Structures uses the free downloadable online application Photoscape. Sometimes this data can be drawn on the part prior to taking the photo or a sketch can be utilized. However, if your drawing skills are anything like mine, photos are indeed the best option. Thank you for your time, and please be sure to view the other two orientation and macro video segments before taking any photographs. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at cessna.com.